Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn more about the Spring AI functions and how we can use the chat client to make sure that we are able to use the full power of OpenAI and all the different models available. So in the last video what we saw is we saw the basics about the Spring AI. We saw that how we can start our application, how we can integrate the different models with our application. Now we will see that how we can take this application to the next level. How we can utilize the chat client and all the different functions how we can write the proper prompt and how we can write the proper prompt template and how we can pass the dynamic values so without any further ado let's get started so here you can see that this is the application that we saw last time where we have created a basic prompt api where we used to take the message and we were just calling the chat client dot call method which was taking a message as an input and it was returning the results right so it was very basic thing so now we will understand more about the chat client and the different prompts available so first let's look at the chat client right so within the chat client you can see that there are different prompts available right different you can see that different steps available where i can create a prompt okay and with that prompt you can see that i am passing a user message so in the last time we directly passed the message but here i can create a user message and that user message will take the string as input right so you can see this message is a string so i am creating the object of a user message and that is something that i'm passing as a prompt okay and it is calling the generation dot output dot get content method so it will give the content back from our model so whatever the model that we are using it will get the content back so this is something that we will use so let's quickly create one more api which will be using this prompt way to call the api so in this last way what we did was we directly call the chat client dot call method where we pass the message now let's create one more method that is public string and i'll just say find popular sports person okay so this is the method i'm creating i will take a request parameter as the input and i'll say this is which sports i'm going to take the values for okay so now within this what i'll do is i will create a prompt so let me just create a prompt string message equals to okay and here i'll write my prompt and i'll say list of five most popular personalities in sports category along with their career career achievements okay and i'll also say show the details in the proper readable format okay so you can see that this is my prompt now and this is something that sports i want to make sure it is dynamic i want to change whatever the sport that i'm passing so i want top five personalities in this sports category which i am mentioning and this is the prompt that i am giving okay so what i'll do is with this now i will create a prompt template so i'll just say prompt template template equals to new prompt template and i'm going to pass message here okay so this is my prompt template now within prompt i'll create a prompt out of that prompt template so i'll just say prompt equals to template dot create and here i'm going to pass that this is my key and whatever the value that i'm going to pass so this is going to be your key and value combination so it's going to be your map so i'll just say map dot off your key is sports and your value is also sports okay so your prompt is created now i'm going to call the chat client so i'll do return i'll say chat client dot call and here i'm going to pass my prompt rather than the message and i'll say dot get result dot get output dot get content and this is what i'm going to return okay so you can see that this is a simple method that i've created let me just annotate with the api that is a get api so what i'll do i'll just annotate this as a get api and i'll map to a context path okay so you can see that this is my sample and a simple api okay which is find popular sports person and you can see that it is taking a sports as an input parameter and what i'm going to do is i am taking one prompt that list of five most popular personalities in sports category along with their career achievements now this is something that i have enabled as a prompt template okay where i'm taking everything as a prompt template whichever i'm passing and whatever the prompt that i'm creating from that template i am making sure that whatever the dynamic value that i have passed i am replacing with the actual values that i have taken as an input and then with that prompt i am calling the chat client okay so now let's see how it works so i will just run this application and you can see that my application is working started i'll go to browser and i'll go to localhost and i'll say 8080 because it's in the root path right and i'll say request param so sports equals to i'll say cricket okay so here you can see that i got the result i got first sachin tendulkar and its career achievement okay and got virat kohli i got uh, abd williams steve smith and all the details if i go with tennis i'll get the details about the tennis 
okay you can see that i'm getting details about the tennis so you can see that with one prompt i am passing the dynamic values and i will to create a proper prompt with a prompt template and i'm going to generate the data from the gpt okay so this is one of the way that i have used to get my data okay now let's see one more way the other way was that when we go to chat client right currently you can see that we have passed the prompt but when we go to call here okay you can see that i can get with the user message as well right currently we pass the prompt and within the prompt we pass the prompt template but now let's see about how we can do using the user message now one more thing what you can do is whenever this prompt template is there right this prompt template you can see that i have only used here but there might be cases where this particular template i can use multiple places right so what you can do at that time is you can externalize this template you can pass this template as a resource so you can create a resource file and you can inject those resource files and you can use this as well so that is also a way that we can use it's a very simple thing that using the added value annotation we can add the or import the resources so that's the same thing we will be using it but before that what we'll do is now let's do one more category rather than just passing the prompt template let me pass the user message okay so what i'll do is i will just comment this out okay and i will do with the user message so what i'll do let me just do string user message equals to new user message and within this what i'll do is let me just okay so here i'll just use string dot format so i'll just use string dot format here and i'm going to pass the string here so my string is this one okay so this is my string and this is something that i want to replace so rather than sports i'll pass percentage s and i'm going to pass sports category okay something is wrong let me just correct it so this is string dot format so i'm just going to pass everything and then this is sports okay let me just correct this here okay cool right so the error is so let me just first correct this thing so this is string dot format and uh, show this category and we need as a user format so this should be user message right it can be user message so this error is solved so this can be also as a message because that's message is a interface and you can also use as a variable okay so this way you can do so i have entirely added my prompt and i have dynamically passed the values that wherever i am passing percentage as it should be replaced with the sports whatever the sports category that i want to use now i'm going to use the prompt again so prompt prompt equals to new prompt and here i'm going to pass the user message okay and then i'm going to call return chat client dot call i'm going to pass the prompt here and with the get result dot get output dot get content i'm going to call the chat client okay so you can see that this is a simple change that i have done rather than passing a prompt template now i'm using the user message okay now why we did the user message is something we will see later but this is also a way that we can use so let's retry or restart our application and let's see how it's working so my application is started so what i'll do i'll go to the browser and i will hit my application again okay so you can see that i'm getting the results so if i see now hockey i should be getting the results for hockey as well okay so you can see i'm getting the results for hockey now what i'll do is i will add one more thing rather than sports i'm going to tell any other category which is not sports okay so suppose i'm going to say hollywood okay so probably it's going to send me that result as well so you can see that it is sending the results for hollywood as well so now currently my chat gpt whatever the application that i have created it does not understand that my api is for sports category okay and if any other category that i am passing it should not be fetching the data because hollywood it's not a sports category this is should be only for sports category so this is something that we can use using the system message as well so let's modify our api to make sure that my api only works for the sports category and not for the any other category so what i will do is within the application i will also add a system message okay that it will understand my api or my chat client will understand that okay what the system or what this system means right so what i'll do i'll create a system message okay equals to new system message and within this system message i will pass i'll say your primary function is to share the information about the sports personalities and i'll just say if someone asks about any thing else you can say you only share about sports category 
let me just correct my spellings okay so you can see that this is a simple system message that i have given that your primary function of calling the chat client is to only work for the sports category if you are getting anything just tell that this is not a sports category and i only work for sports category okay so now i am making my api my ai application more powerful right rather than just getting anything random thing now i am giving some barriers as well that this is a barrier i can only take this and i will only give this so this is to make sure that whatever the application or whatever the client or gpt that we are using that is fetching the proper data and we are filtering some of the data which is unwanted okay so now i added the system message as well and the user message as well and now what prompt or what client will do is it will take the base as a system message and it will work on the user message according to it okay so now rather than just a user message i need to pass everything so it also takes the list of message as the input so i'm going to pass list of system message and user message okay simple thing and now let's restart my application so you can see that my application is restarted application started i'll go to the browser again and what i'll do is i will again pass cricket and it should work correctly for cricket because cricket is a sports right and yeah so you can see that i'm getting details for cricket now if i pass hollywood yeah you can see that it is saying me that i'm sorry but i focus on sharing information about sports personalities only if you have any question related to sports feel free to ask so now i have added a barrier using the system message in my gpt okay so it will only work for this category if i'm passing anything random it should not work right and if i'm passing any sports only then it will work uh, let me pass pull so you can see that it is working so now you can see that we saw three different ways to use our chat client using the prompt so now we saw that we can use the prompt template and using the prompt template we can pass the prompt here okay this one we can also use this prompt template as the resources so whatever the string that you have added here make sure that you create a resource file and you add all the string here and using the add the red value notation you can just import it that we also we can use so that particular file can be used at multiple prompt and we can also use the user message and system message to make sure that we are using a proper prompt and if we want our client or chat gpt client to know that what this particular system does then we can share that information as well accordingly it will react and it will share the data so this is all the basics about the prompt and everything we will also see in the next video about how we can parse our output data so whatever the output data you can see we are directly getting output and get contents which is fetching the data in a string but what if something we have to work on the output data as well something something about json data or list data or anything that we will see in the next video how we can pass those outputs as well so this was all about the prompt and how we can use the different prompts in the spring ai if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos i will link to all the code in the description below for you to check out i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye